good girl. Yes. I actually, she did that because I didn't reward her right away. And I prefer her not to do that because to put her foot in. Here at Michigan State, we work a lot with honeybee bacterial diseases and other pests that affect honeybees. One of the projects we're excited about is working with Maple, who we are training to detect for the honeybee disease American Fall Brood. Get your toy. Oh, you got it. Oh, you got it. Good girl. Good girl. Yeah. It's pretty much the same across the board, whether you're training our narcotics dog or explosives dog. You take the target odor, you present it to them, and, and through a series of kind of systematic and repetitive training, you start to the dog starts to l learn to correlate the odor, the target odor, with something good is going to happen. I'm going for whatever works the best. And, and like I had mentioned before, it's still kind of... <laughs> Much like with humans, uh, we recognize that if a dog is going to be in an active bee yard, they need to wear the same uh, personal protective equipment as people do. Um, and so that is a bee suit. Um, you can't buy them on Amazon for dogs. Um, and so there's been some um, altering and, and testing and that type of thing. That's She also wears boots uh, because quite often in a bee yard there will be bees on the ground and we don't want her stepping on them. The bee suit is still a work in progress. Um, we're getting there, um, and and she's comfortable and working in it. You know, fortunately for Maple, her drive exceeds her. Why am I wearing this suit? Why am I doing this? So I know a lot of people are always concerned about, about heat and her getting hot. If it's hot outside, we don't work, we don't train. Good girl. The idea with the dogs is that they can work as a screening tool. So we have beekeepers that have, you know, 5,000, 10,000 colonies, and it's very hard to go through them with enough rigor to actually see all of the disease. Maple. Wanna get dressed? <laughs> Do you wanna get dressed? Where's Waldo? Our goal is to work with Maple, have her trained up, 
but really to video and document the whole process and working with Sue to write it up into a book so that other people can use our journey with Maple to train their own dogs to do American fall brood detection or other honeybee disease detection so that dogs can be used as screening tools for honeybee diseases. Good. Good. It's a cool project, but I was over the moon excited because my dog would still have joy in her life and would still be able to, to work. Bring it here. Come on. Bring it here. Good girl. Okay. 